Hey, what is up, guys? Pizza Geek is here, and uh, okay, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to softly, swiftly, and safely land on moons. Now, for all you guys who don't know out there how to land, uh, how to go, how to even go to the moon, I have a link in the description and in the annotations. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys can also, ch um, I also tell you guys some tips how to, um, you know, practice to land on the moon. So first up, first thing is try to find a remote area where you think that you'll be safe, and hopefully that. I mean, like if you think about it, the whole space center has a freaking land, or you can choose to go to the North Pole, if you can take it to the extreme and think you can like fly there and get the exact same touchdown wherever you want to go. That could be possible, and you could try practicing EVA as well. As you could see, I also set up a flag there. And that's like a flag up in the freaking island where I said Bob's awesome land. And uh, yeah, so first things first, build like a new like a ship, some sort of landing module, a training landing module, and this is like my simplified version. And I can put a, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put in that down in the description below. It's quite simple. And um. I'll, I'll just put it in the download description anyways. It's actually good um, for training. and But before you fly it, you know that I'm using the Oscar fuel tank. And you might think, why do you have a fuel fuel tank and you've already gone from the launch pad? As you know, I'm using cheats. And cheats, it's it's not bad to cheat during training, but it's bad to cheat during an actual mission. So I usually cheat on training, but not on mission. So to enable the debug menu is Alt-12. I mean Alt-F12. And then you'll have this, no crash damage and infinite fuel, obviously, because we have Jebediah in the list. I'm not trying to risk his life, nor for any other crew's life, because it's fuck, bro. You know, if, if he dies, you're fuck. And basically, that's it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, so you just enable both um, infinite fuel and, uh, you know, un -cra no crash damage, and you're off you go. But... For the actual flying part, this is where things get really fun, guys. Now, before you guys leave, yeah, I'm just a 7th grader, you shitty little 13-year-old fag. I'm not. I actually do know something. So, let's use the game physics towards our advantage. And some real-life physics as well. As you guys know, that the physics does abide sometimes. If you guys haven't watched my... Kerbal Space Program versus real life video. You guys should watch that and see if comparing the game physics with the real physics is a good idea. So first things first, you'll know that your control is inverted when you're facing the window where Jebediah is looking out at. Now if you know that your control is not inverted when you're facing the hatch, your camera is facing the hatch. Or if you could go sideways and you know, it's either way. <laughs> So, um, first let's practice a scenario where you'll be going side to side, horizontally first. And then we're gonna go back here and try to land there. Now, before you even, don't go horizontally and diagonally this whole time. There is such thing as, like, first you're going, you have lateral velocity. You keep your lateral velocity, but you also maintain vertical velocity. And, uh, if you guys don't know what that means, then... I don't know, go to Scott Manley, learn something about it or something. <laughs> I recommend you guys to Scott Manley here because he's a professional in this game. Um, I'm not sure if I'm good as him. I've never been at ELO before, so I'd say that he's better than I am. So, you guys know, look, I'm currently losing a little velocity, but if I maintain my altitude control, as you guys can see, the meter is showing me that Yet, I'm kind of decreasing and increasing my throttle a little bit because I'm trying to find an even zone here that I could be, get, uh, you know, maintaining vertical velocity but having me to go horizontally a little bit. Then, once we're done with that, decrease your throttle and try to go back, or you could just press Q and E. It's kind of, yeah, the Q and E part is kind of inverted as well, so you keep that in mind. You just go forward and then, yeah, just try to your best to not screw up during training because if you do well in training you'll hell sure know that it's you know it's you're gonna everything everything's gonna be fine so g keep in mind guys if you guys do well in training on Kerbin you guys are gonna do well on other planets too like surely Kerbin's like the hardest thing that you can find actually no second hardest thing that you could find to land on without like crashing that's like it's quite hard actually 
So, yeah. But actually, if you get used to it, it's, it's gonna be, like, in your blood right now. It's gonna be in your mind, your blood, everything. And so, right now, you guys are seeing me gaining a little bit of lateral velocity. While maintaining, actually decreasing my vertical velocity. But I also want to maintain that, but I don't want to because, uh... We all know that we're gonna descend, right? So we're gonna have to slow. We're gonna have to lower our vertical velocity. And when we get close enough, if you have a sensitive engine, you could always like try to increase your engine if you think you're going a little too fast hitting the ground. And uh, screwing up is not such a bad thing at all. It's really um, part of the training. But since I've done this a lot of times, I don't think there are any excuses for me to screw up. Unless there's some sort of malfunction. And that's why no damage, no crash damage was placed, it was like implemented in the game. Alright, so as we're getting closer, about, you know, 200 meters from the flag, as you guys can see. Uh, I can't really see my lateral velocity down from this because of poor graphics. Okay, so first maintain your, velo maintain your altitude real quick and uh, try to back up a little bit, you know? Try to back things up. But I think I'm going. I'm think. I think I have my lateral velocity set to zero at the moment. I'm gonna land here. <laughs> I think I kind of screwed up there. But uh, anyways, get a soft. Wait. No wonder it was like this. It was on orbit. I'm supposed to have it on surface. Oh my god, dude. No wonder it was kind of screwed up. Oh my god. This whole time I I didn't notice it was in orbit. Uh, this is why I, this is ah oh shit. I think I'm still going to upload this though cuz there's things more there are more things to explain. Okay, so we're 100 meters from the flag, 180 meters and we're kind of getting low here. It's good. This is like the right altitude, 116 meters down. And as soon as you guys know that that number start to disappear, it's a good time to land. Like, hell sure it is. And here's the correct appropriate landing speed. Two, one to three meters. Yes, one to three meters is the appropriate landing speed. And uh, anything higher than that with this kind of strut landing gear, I think it'll probably damage it. As you guys can see, I have the LT1 landing strut. These are only good for freaking one and a half to two meters on other planets. Not on Kerbin. Kerbin is like so totally sensitive. It's not going to work. But the LT1... The, like, the bigger LT1 landing struts, those are, like, the giant-ass ones that work, like, freaking, it's so good, you know? So, anyway, so pretty much that's how you land, but we're not gonna end it here, are we? No. We're gonna talk a little bit more in-depth, so let's take off a little bit. So, since you guys know now how to go from one place to another, try challenge yourself. Find some landing spot and get some lateral velocity and some vertical velocity to keep you up at the challenge. And also, try to land on top of the freaking VAB. Let's see how good you are in that. Because clearly, that's quite challenging for some people, for beginners, if you've never done that before, of course. And uh, in the last video, I did that. That was like my first time. I never really pay attention to the VAB. I never really concentrate. And it looks like the actual Kerb um, Kennedy Space Center in real life. So first, remember, make sure your mode's on surface, not orbit. And uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, try to increase try to keep your freaking velocity on the line and uh, Make sure that you're not going too slow or too fast anything too slow. You're You're basically setting yourself up for freaking a long flight, and it's gonna waste fuel Now if you guys want to take this to the extreme You guys can choose to add a little bit of you know a little bit of a freaking weight to it or you can add a rover and drop it down there and go back to your normal landing site or you guys can also turn off the um, the unlimited fuel mod or the unlimited fuel cheats and try to land on top of the tower with a freaking Oscar fuel B tank. Oh, I kind of dropped down there, so I kind of failed there. But if I had a if I had like a freaking LT1 those huge landing struts, it wouldn't be a problem right there. I wouldn't. I didn't think I would crash at all. Um, plus, I was like that high, and it was like three meters down. So you know, with these landing struts, if I turned off damage, it probably would like cause catastrophe but other than that I don't think I don't think there are other problems so yeah that's why cheats were made in this game they were to help you they're to they're you know they're, they are abusive in some cases but they're mainly there to help you for training so if you guys are kind of like noobish you guys will um, if you guys still can't really figure out how to go to the moon and land there I recommend you to Scott Manley but uh, first things first you guys can learn from me 
I normally do these kind of flights, and uh, it, as you guys know, if you guys are kind of, you know, kind of too fast going down, and you know that you're running your own fuel, what do I do? If you guys watch my, um, my bust on the moon video, you guys are going to know that I am, I'm going to cancel my target change. I'm going to change my target. I'm going to make sure that I land somewhere that my crew won't die in, because clearly at that point, they're all going to die if I, like, decided to, well, that was 2.6, that was all right. Um, it wouldn't crash, I'm like, it wouldn't crash at all, it would probably break a joint or two with this kind of landing strut, but with the, with the tough ones, they wouldn't matter. Um, so yeah, so, plus Kerbin is, a, it's a, it's not like, um, any of the moons here, it's that, it has quite the gravity, and you guys know, the moon mission, though, the moon mission in episode 5 of my Let's Play Kerbal Space Program series, you guys are gonna notice that, okay, well... You guys saw me do a little target change because I was planning to go t a little bit further down, but as I noticed that fuel was a bit of a problem, I had to short out. And guys, trust me, shorting out is completely worth it rather than having three dead Kerbals. As you guys know, um, if you guys watch my series and listen up in the end, I said that um, I recoded the persistent file so that the Kerbals won't respawn, and I'm making Jebediah run a little bit here. Do a little EVA practice. Yes, also, I forgot to mention... While you guys are having your lunar module practice or your landing practice, you guys also try to go EVI on daytime, nighttime. It's actually quite fun. You can try plant flags, do here and there, and perhaps even like drop the rover, take a little drive, and then perhaps land up again, and perhaps even try to land somewhere else. And yeah, I guess when I'm gonna conclude this to um, when I place the limb on top of the not the, on top of the VAB, possibly even near to the flag, real quick because I want to get this positioning right up. Uh, no, 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 you don't fall down, dude. Not cool. Not cool. There we go. There we go. Come on, board. Okay, so other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember. This is the key part. If you guys are going in the lateral velocity and you think you're in the right altitude, like, cancel out that vertical velocity. And you guys can see in the top bar, it'll tell you vertical velocity, or you guys can just do it by, like, virtual flight rules. I suppose that's it. That's how you, like, freaking make sure that everything's good by looks of it. It's not really by instrumentation, but it's actually something with um, your looks. And I'm pretty sure that's the cause of the Asiana flight crash is because of the freaking pilot is retarded and he does not know how to freaking handle a virtual, um, a VFR, v ver, um, visual flight rule. I almost say, I keep on saying it virtual. I don't know. Maybe it's both the same thing. Oh, I accidentally pressed X. Oh yeah, keep in mind, try to not lay your hands on the X button when you're on a freaking and you're on a landing and you're having lateral velocities on the line and your vertical velocity is zero keep in mind try to not press x i'm playing in dark right now so i can't really see that much actually i can but not as well but uh anyways if you guys really like this video um give it a comment like it subscribe it means a lot actually and uh, i'm almost on 140 subscribers just need two more and i'm pretty much done here and, uh, yeah, if you guys, um, comment what you think first, uh, tell me if I, um, give me constructive criticism. Oh, I can plant another flag. Uh, so, yeah, give me some good advice and good tips on how to, like, improve my equipments, you know, my recordings. Maybe I should, like, make a video, um, yeah, other videos. Come and, uh, tell me what other video I should make. So, yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Oh, by the way, forgot to mention, make sure that your gimbal, your gimbal lock is, make sure it's locked on the surface. Its mode is on surface, not orbital. You gave it an orbital, you're basically saying, you're basically including the speed of, um, Kerbin's rotation, and by the looks of this, I'm pretty sure that's Kerbin's ro current rotation. Oh, crap. Uh, let me try to get Kerbin's, um, rotation real quick. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, trying to make this video child-friendly. Alright, so surface, orbital, orbit. Okay, so if I'm right, it's 176, right? No, Kerbin. Is that really how it's... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Atmospheric height. Uh, 
six hours and I'm pretty sure six hours is I don't know 174 meters or 176 meters I suppose oh yeah 175 meters almost that so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video um, if this does help you give it a like subscribe comment on what you think and uh, if there is something wrong tell me like maybe one or two person people can just tell me to make a remake of this video and I'm boom I'll get my ass up into work and I'll make a remake and then probably in a remake it'll probably be more clear I'll go into specific details or I can make a part two of this so perhaps I could make a part two of the training video so first training is the how to softly land on the moon so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video peace out